thanks for tuning in to another Firecast. My name is Doug Stevenson, and I'll give you a quick walkthrough on how to do the first test of your app with Firebase Test Lab for Android. The Firebase team understands that application quality is extremely important for the long-term health of your app and the business it supports. And I know from personal experience that publishing an app with a serious issue can cost time and money to fix. And there is a risk that your users might simply uninstall the app if it's causing them trouble. To help prevent these problems, you can use Firebase Test Lab for Android to maintain a high bar for quality by testing your app on many devices at the same time. There's a lot you can do with Test Lab, so let's just take a look at the easiest way to get started with Test Lab right now. Okay, I already have an Android project created in the Firebase console that I'm using for development, so let's take a look at that. Now, when I select Test Lab from the features on the left, the console is telling me that I need to upgrade to the Blaze plan. And when I click on the Upgrade button, I see some choices and that the Blaze plan includes Test Lab. So when I select Blaze, I notice that I'm going to be billed for my use of real-time database, file storage, and web hosting. But I already have a problem here. I'm still building out the first version of my app, and I'm happy with the free Spark plan. I don't yet want to start paying for storage and bandwidth used by my app. And this is okay. I don't have to use Test Lab in the project that I'm using to develop my app. So if you're like me, and you only want to pay to use Test Lab for now, what you can do instead is create a whole new project for all your testing needs. Then you can just upgrade that project to the Blaze plan, and you only pay for the tests that you execute against it. In fact, you don't even have to add Firebase to your app at all to be able to test it with Test Lab. You can simply upload any APK, and Test Lab will run tests on it in the project you choose using only the billing information for that project. So let's create a new project real fast and upgrade it. First, I'll go back to the Firebase console main screen. Then I'll choose to create a new project. I'll give it a name that makes it clear what I'm trying to do here and keep the default country. Okay, now I'll choose to upgrade this project. I'll select the Blaze plan and go ahead with the billing setup. But I'll stop the recording right here because I'm not going to show you my credit card number today. So completing the rest of that setup is up to you. But when I'm done with that, I'll see my project is now on the Blaze plan, which means I can run tests with it. I imagine right now you're wondering what exactly it costs to test your app. You should know that your credit card will be billed five US dollars per physical device hour. That means if your test runs on five different device configurations and you've submitted a test that takes 12 minutes to run on each device, that's a total of one hour, which costs $5. Or if you have six distinct device configurations that each run for 10 minutes, that's also a total of one hour for $5. The math is pretty easy, so you get the idea. Anyway, let's do an easy test. If I click Test Lab on the left in my upgraded project, I have an option to run a couple different kinds of tests. The easiest test to run is a robo test. This is an automated, intelligent test that requires no extra coding on my part. It will operate my app and give a report at the end. All I have to do is upload an APK and select the configurations to test with. Here, I'm just going to select the Nexus 7 and Nexus 5 devices on API levels 21 and 22 in both landscape and portrait. And I'll leave the default locale of US English. Now, when I scroll down, the console is telling me that this is a total of six unique tests in this test matrix. When I push that button, the tests are deployed to my selected devices in Test Lab, and the results will appear sometime later right here in the console. And when you get to writing your own instrumentation tests, you'll be able to run those tests from the console here as well. Like I mentioned before, you can run tests against pretty much any APK. This means debug or release build types, with or without Firebase integrated, and you can test multiple different apps all on the same project. Oh, and there's one other thing. If you aren't able to pay for testing, you can still make use of Firebase Test Lab by uploading your APK to an alpha or beta channel in the Google Play Developer Console. All you have to do is opt in to use the pre-launch report on Google Play. And from that point on, every APK you upload to those channels will receive a five-minute robo-test across several devices at no charge to you. After a while, those test results will appear alongside the APK in the channel where you uploaded it. So that's all we have time for now. Stay tuned here to the Firebase channel on YouTube for more details on Firebase Test Lab for Android and other Firebase features. And if you have any questions, reach out to us on Twitter with the hashtag AskFirebase or in the comments below. My name is Doug Stevenson. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to test early and often with Firebase.